Hello everybody. I am Missy Bahash Khalil, a teacher of the English language at Ahmad Iskandar School in Damascus. Welcome to the Syrian Educational Platform. Today is Thursday, 19th October 2023. We are going to continue with Grade 11, Unit 2, 1, and Creativity. Now we are going to talk about the lesson from the activity book. It's the genius of ancient Damascene houses. The genius of ancient Damascene houses. Beautifully intertwined houses usually narrate the originality of the old buildings and the genius of their makers. So today we are going to talk a little about the Damascene houses. So they are beautifully intertwined, intertwined, uh, inter intertwined houses or combined houses. Uh, they talk about the originality, uh, they show us the originality of the old buildings and how they are wonderful and original. They summarize some of the characteristics of old city of Damascus. So here we are talking about the old city of Damascus, not the new one. With all its cultural, historical and human heritage and a unique style of architecture. So here we are going to talk about the old buildings of Damascus and their designs. So unique style of architecture astonished everyone who visits it. So everyone who visits the old Damascus, the old city of Damascus will be astonished and amazed so that it deserves its inclusion on the UNESCO World Heritage List. So because the old city of Damascus is so beautiful, so amazing uh, and has a uh, cultural and historical heritage, it should be included on the UNESCO World Heritage List. This is how the French poet Lamartine described the city. So here we have the French poet Lamartine uh, described uh, the city in his writings, saying that there is a genius in Damascene architecture. What he is, sorry, what did he say? A people who is engineers appreciate the drawing of an edifice similar to Khan Asad Pasha and his workers are able to implement it will not die in the field of arts. So the French poet Lamartine talks about the designs of the old city of Damascus. So he talks about, uh, he compliments uh, the engineers. The engineers appreciate the drawing of uh, many buildings like Khan Asad Basha. So he is complimenting the engineers. He is talking uh, greatly about uh, the engineers and the workers are able to implement it. So the engineers, the engineers designed, okay, uh, or or planned a design, a, a very accurate design for uh, the old city of Damascus, and the workers uh, were able to do it uh, greatly. So, in his opinion. This work will not die in the field of art. So he is describing the old city of Damascus as a uh, beautiful painting. Where we see enchanting, enchanting means charming, wonderful, pools of water filled with fragrant roses and the green, green hanging canopies that soften the glow of the summer sun and heat. So he is here he's talking about uh, details. We have pools of water, we have fragrant roses or flowers and hanging canopies that uh, protect them from the summer heat. We also find the models clearly among the houses. So also we have models or patterns among houses. Where we see in the other corners architectural architectural objects that appear like an umbrella to protect from the rain. 
So uh, also we have some design or, uh, or some patterns also protect, uh, to protect them or to protect people from the rain. It seems that he is also continuing uh, what he is uh, describing, uh, what he describes. It seems that the, indiv the div divisions and the spaces in the house take into account the weather conditions. So uh, in each house of the old city of Damascus, there are uh, corners or th there are spaces, okay? These spaces are taken into consideration, uh, they take into consideration the weather conditions, okay? Uh, they do something to protect them from the summer heat and uh, another thing to protect them from the rain during the seasons of the year, including the square. So here are the divisions, okay, the parts of the uh, old Damascene houses. We have square, the Liwan, the Dawar, the Baudoir, the Hall, and others. So here are some parts of the old Damascene houses. Each element has its function. So each element of these parts has a job or function that emerges from the need of the residents. So it depends on the needs of the residents. The old houses with their elaborate construction, elaborate means detailed construction, take the advantages of the machine architecture in the simplest detail. Some people describe them as very accurate. So some people describe the old Damascene houses as accurate and well-made Syrian architecture. So it's a, a very wonderful Syrian architecture. With a selection of decorative fashions, here we have decorative fashions. We have models, distinctive and appropriate at the same time. Time. So here we have models, patterns, fashions, uh, and they are all appropriate, accru uh, accurate, and distinctive at the same time, such as Khan Asad Basha and others. These architectural and decorative creations go beyond all borders with the Arabic calligraphy, such as verses of poetry, proverbs, or carvings in an elaborate handwriting found on the walls and ceilings. So if you visit uh, the old Damascene houses, you will see beautiful handwriting or calligraphy written uh, uh, and painted on the walls and ceilings. All these characteristics reflect the artistic flair. Flair means talent. So people, uh, people who uh, made this design uh, are very talented people. Social traditions and unity of the family prevalent in the city. So uh, all these characteristics and all these designs um, and models, patterns, all of, uh, all of them refer to uh, the beauty of uh, the uh, uh, old city of Damascus and the unity of the family. Now we are going to do the exercises. Match these definitions with the high light and words in the text. Number one, so these are definitions or meanings. To apply in a manner consistent with its purpose or design means implement. Arching interest, enchanting, talent, flair, a layer of things spread over an area, so they are canopies, very common means prevalent or popular. A building standing permanently in one place, so it's edifice. A beautiful handwriting, calligraphy. Carefully organized and prepared means elaborate or detailed. Now, read the text and answer the following questions. Number one, what features characterize the old city of Damascus? So, the old city of Damascus is characterized by beautifully inter intertwined houses, usually narrate the originality of the old buildings and the genius of their makers. 
two. What cools the summer temperature? The enchanting booths of water, okay, filled with the fragrant roses and the green hanging canopies, soften the glow of the summer heat and sun or sun and heat. Now, question three. What determines the house's elements? Each element has its function that emerges or appears from the need of residents. Why are the buildings described as attractive? Because all these characteristics reflect the artistic flair, social traditions, and the unity of the family prevalent in the city. What does the word them refer to? The word them refers to the old houses. Now, we are going to do an exercise about uh, prepositions or phrasal verbs. Dear George, we arrived in Tartus at about 9 o'clock. We got a taxi from the airport to the port, and then we took a lovely little boat to the island. I enjoyed looking at, so here the first gap is at, looking at the landscape on the way. When we, we, when we reached the island, reach the island, so the verb reach doesn't uh, take a preposition. We looked for our chalet, but we couldn't find it. I talked to a local man, so I'm, he talked to a local man, and I asked for directions. He offered to take me there. When we arrived at the chalet, look, here we put arrive at. So arrive at, so because it's a place uh, inside your town or country. I offered to pay him. Pay after pay, here we are talking about people, so it doesn't take a uh, preposition. But he did not want any money. The weather is lovely, I'll ring you. Also, the verb ring or the verb call or discuss or phone, they don't take a preposition after them. When we get back from our holiday, love, Laura. Now, fill in the spaces with words from the list. Here we have a list of verbs. Verbs. We are going to put them in the correct uh, gaps. It's easy to tell when I am in the creative burst because it's so much easier to get out of bed in the morning. So he's a very creative and active person, energetic, full of energy. Uh, no more hitting the snooze the three times. I usually wake before the alarm. So he usually wakes before the alarm. So he, uh, he doesn't have to um, boot or to hit the snooze. Before the alarm, ready to flow out of bed, flow out of bed to get out of bed and get back into the project at hand. Similarly, I can create into the evening focusing for long periods without getting tired. A creative project stimulates me, stimulates me like encourages me and gives me energy rather than exhausting me. In turn, Creative energy has a hugely positive impact on my mood. When I am creative, I am happy. Now, another exercise. Mark the sentences S if they are useful for starting a conversation and F if they are useful for finishing a conversation. So here we are talking about uh, some statements or some sentences used in conversations. So, dear students, if you feel that this sentence, uh, this sentence, okay, one each another, uh, if this sentence uh, expresses starting a conversation, you should put the letter S. If you feel that this sentence is appropriate for finishing a conversation, you put the letter F. Nice to meet you. Did you have a comfortable flight? So here it's S. Look, if we only said, nice to meet you, so it's about finishing conversation. But here, after nice to meet you, we have a new sentence. Did, uh, did you have a comfortable flight? So uh, he asks 
the other person uh, a new question and he wants to start a new subject. So it's uh, for starting conversation. Two, hi, what are you doing here? Okay, hi, excuse me. All these express uh, start conversation. Okay, I let you get in. Okay, so after a long discussion between me, uh, between you and me, so it's F, finishing conversation. Leave me alone, will you? So these sentences three and four, okay, and leave me alone, so I want to finish the conversation. Excuse me, could you help me? So I want to start the conversation with, excuse me, sorry, could you please, etc. They express start or starting conversation. Anyway, it's been nice seeing you again. So anyway, or by the uh, anyway, or however, etc. Here we also finish the conversation. Sorry to disturb you. So I come and uh, want to have a conversation with someone. I can say sorry, pardon. So it's starting conversation. Welcome to Syria. Is this your first visit here? So it's also S, starting conversation. Right, I'd better get back to work. Listen, dear students, I'd better. Here we have the D is had. Had better get because get is a verb zero and had better is a model. Right, I'd better get back to work. It's finishing conversation and this is the end of our lesson thank you very much